The Detroit Police Department's million-dollar facial recognition contract is set to expire this week, and the department plans to ask the city council for an extension. The technology has already led to at least two wrongful arrests, which triggered calls to end the program entirely. The seven investigators have been following the controversy for months. And tonight, our Ross Jones joins us with more on the city's next move on this one. Ross. Dave Carolyn, DPD, is expected to ask City Council for $220,000 to extend the controversial program. It will ultimately be the City Council's decision. When they make it, they're going to be in a much trickier spot than they were back in 2017 when this issue started. We don't want official recognizing green light. Three years ago, before this protest chant, Detroit City Council approved a million dollar contract to purchase facial recognition technology from the South Carolina company DataWorks Plus. It is for DPD, Real Time Crime Center, 100%, that's what it'll be used for. And the majority of the cameras are our green light cameras. It's simply for trying to catch bad guys and okay. gals. Uh, violent crimes. And three years later, that software and the department's use of the technology has come under fire. Just the rationale for continuing to use this system when there's so many inaccuracies uh, is baffling to me. This summer, two wrongful arrests due to misidentification for nonviolent crimes have come to light, despite DPD stressing to the public that since the beginning, the software is just used for violent crimes and is also merely a tool. And even if through the, uh, the diligence, uh, the diligent work by our analysts to identify someone, that alone is not enough to establish probable cause to arrest. That alone is never enough. Last summer, Chief James Craig said that since 2017, the department had used the tool roughly 500 times. And to show how rigorous a process it was, he explained that only 30% of the time was a credible match found. Very impressive is in that 30%, not one misidentification. But just two weeks after this interview, Detroiter Michael Oliver was wrongly arrested and charged due to a misidentification with the technology. I didn't commit this crime, so why am I going through this? It's almost as if they came into a new toy and forgot about the instructions. Michael's attorney, David Robinson, a former cop, plans to sue the city this week over violations of his client's civil rights. There were very clear indicators to suggest these were not the same people, such as tattoos versus no tattoos. And that was somehow overlooked in favor of believing what the software said. As Claire Garvey, a senior associate at Georgetown's Law Center on Privacy and Technology, points out, in the Robert Williams and Michael Oliver cases, detectives relied almost solely on the results of facial recognition technology, corroborating the findings only with photo lineups. Now, officials say those wrongful arrests only happened because there wasn't a policy from the very beginning. Since September, there are a whole series of protocols in place uh, that this incident would not have been uh, possible. Since September, DPD says the technology can now only be used to investigate violent crimes. Though Tawana Petty says that if misidentification remains a problem, that does little to calm concerns. So now you're looking at misidentifications for something like murder or, you know, or carjacking. Uh, things with more, with longer uh, time spans in, in the criminal justice system. But even today, basic questions about the city's use of the technology remain unanswered. Neither DPD nor the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office tracks how many times facial recognition searches played into arrests, warrants, charges, or convictions, meaning we don't know how it's been used or misused. We're spending millions and millions of dollars to track and trace and profile people and it's not having an impact on crime. At the very least, community members need to be asking, why are we spending so much money if it's not impacting crime? Now, the current contract is set to expire this Friday. It is unclear when DPD plans to ask council to extend it. We understand they are still seeking community input about the technology right now. We're live in Detroit tonight. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. We'll have to see what happens next. As always, thank you so much, Ross, for your investigation.